All right, here we flow. Welcome to this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and sharing in this now moment with myself and with one another. Um, I'm just sitting outside here, tuning into the energy that's all around. So I'm gonna share that a little bit. Um, I'm in the only spot where I can find a little bit of sun. There it is. I just woke up, um, still in my pajamas. Just had a cup of coffee. So um, let's see what, just go into a little flow. Um, I always make these videos with the intention of the highest levels of love light. Whew. Unity consciousness. <laughs> Here we go. Ua wahea te shta makua te i ana shta na makuku u nahe. Te anda eshta kua te kua nda ashta na kua te ana ua at eshta ki ana. Tua wahu kua te na te e ana ashte. Hua na te ashta ku o kua naha. Uashta ki ana te ana. Te shta o kua na te, te kua te te o awahana. Na shta ki te ana. As we reunify with the grand spectrum of all that is, with the light that runs through all things, that courses through all, as we all participate in, as we allow ourselves to recognize more of what it is that we are participating in, we become the action takers, the participants of our own journey. So I'm seeing this as a reference earlier. I had been, some messages had been come through, coming through about um, us kind of running away from ourselves and the messages for us to be a participant in this. This is our journey. And I'm hearing not passing off the buck. <laughs> I'm thinking that that's funny because I was wondering where the deer are, the bucks. Anyways, um, so I haven't seen any yet. But it's about accepting responsibility and staying in that uh, responsibility allows us to take our course of action and change our courses of action. So it's being able to, I'm hearing diversify. So it's not like we only have one choice. We have many choices in every given moment. And the message is not running from these opportunities for us to link up with this higher spectrum. And when I see say spectrum, I see it as light, a rainbow, right? Like if you see a rainbow and the spectrum is also a reference to a different type of like seeing into the broader spectrum, the broad bandwidth, not just one narrow band. Kueashta. Kuate ena ne shte ki ena wate te kushta na de shte ki ni. For your inner technology is charging forward, is inviting you to charge in a forward momentum. The mo kuashte na, and in this momentous, seemingly moment, um, I'm hearing momentification. This is probably stuff I should have written down. Momentification, um, moment to moment identification, um, 
I'm seeing this as a charge. We, we keep getting this charge to move forward, but it isn't about what's in front of us um, in the future, so to speak. It's about what's in front of us right now and taking and making that choice in every moment. And what I'm hearing also is that this we're all going through, we've been through, we will be going through. I'm hearing moment, um, lots of plays and words, but like these challenges and part of these challenges that we're going through, part of that is so that we can um, be shown other choices, if that makes sense. If these challenges weren't presented to us, we would have just a one track mind. We would just be, um, we wouldn't have these, I'm hearing seeming, seemingly pitfalls for us to pick ourselves back up out of and go, well, guess I'm not gonna go down that path anymore or not going to choose that uh, course of action, right? Many have handed off their responsibility to others saying, please take this for I am not capable. Yet for those that are recognizing they are more than capable, this is where, uh, what's it called? The pavement meets the, I don't know what that term is, but that's what I'm hearing that where the pavement meets the road, where the road meets the pavement. For the more you allow yourselves to see past what has been paved or rolled out before you, okay, this is all a big play on words. Part of it is that, um, it's almost like the television, you know, it tells us what to see and um, what to watch, the programming. At nine o'clock, this will be on. And so we turn it onto that channel. It's like we need to become more, uh, we're being invited to, we're being drawn into being more, um, I'm hearing unified, but also less with unified in what it is that we identify with. So rather than being pulled into somebody else's railway, somebody else's vision, somebody else's track, it's recognizing that we are, I'm hearing the master and commander, right, at this point. And as we birth forward, as we birth this new grand schematic, so to speak. And when I see schematic, I see so much. Um, we could play on that into so many different words, uh, layers. We must recognize that all is birthing with us. For we are constantly in a changing, um, seeing subdivision. So it's like a cell mitosis, but in recognizing that the cells are constantly dividing, yet we're still held within this complete package. This is creation at its finest, us recognizing that with change comes growth, with avoidance comes, um, I'm seeing a lot of different things, so I'm just gonna come back into that. I'm hearing the mechanisms for self de deprivation. So it's like when we avoid things, we're, we're setting ourselves up and depriving ourselves of what we can really be uh, growing into and the, the total vision, so to speak. For in the grand scheme of things, there are many schematics. For there are many subdivisions that we have all created together in this world, in these spectrums. And as we ana analyze, um, this also has to do with our proteins, I'm seeing, like amylase, amylase. 
as we analyze and we move into a place of higher self-esteem. So I'm seeing full steam ahead. I'm seeing this reference to the train. I'm seeing like um, connecting in with our full source stream, which is that broadband spectrum. Um, and as we start to really look at our chapters and pages that we're turning in our lives, like right now we might be in a real page turner, so to speak, because there's so much going on. There's so many things that we're being um, shown or activated into and recognize that this is an important chapter of our story. Um, and being present with it is, is um, and not choosing to run away is so important. But I'm also seeing this reference to getting back to nature, right? Of course, I've been, as many of you guys have, drawn to getting outside as much as possible, connecting with the animals. Um, <laughs> For all of that is a reflection of inner. And as we go within, we see all that is outside of us as a landscape of our reality structure. Yet the same proteins and building blocks that Mother Nature is made up of is our makeup, our true makeup. What is beyond skin deep, yet is deeply embedded inside of us, in our skin. For the very nature of our complexity, is our nature, our compounds, for we are the building blocks of matter and as we step out of materialism and we go back into what is deeper than the materials that we see we start to recognize the complexity of our very own birthing of our own Complex reality in simplicity, in the simplest format, in the simplest wave, waves of reunification. For when we reunify with that which truly ma matters, and I'm hearing like matters of the heart, heart brain intelligence, right? Coherence. Um, fractality, the allness in our, I'm hearing tranquility. We step back into the great void and we step out of avoidance. We start to rewire that which we have been, um, I'm hearing, uh, coming undone from like we we were starting to we're we've really moved away from you know connecting with our our elemental brothers and sisters i'm getting a little emotional <laughs> and they're all around us they're within us they're part of us and for us to want to just become um tech just technologically advanced um, those are only tools that we've created so when we get back into what's really the truth of the matter and the heart that is where we should be creating the materials that we are 
wishing to use as expansiveness as tools is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing tools of the trade and I'm, I'm also hearing trade in. It's time to trade in the old models. It's time to trade in the things that are not supplying us with our true charge, our true capacity for knowingness, our true ability to, to, um, convey what it is again at the heart of the matter so it's like um, again I'm seeing all these scientists that again are separate they've created these subdivisions and it's really about unifying in that field as well because it is a unified field right and I'm also seeing this as a play on words like the golden ratio um pi phi i always mispronounce my words but koe aste koe nati ia wa o akana di ste na um i'm kind of seeing that it's really th these are the messages of the na of the now these have always been the messages Sometimes we just have to be reminded of what's important. When I'm hearing when things seem like they're falling apart, it's usually a sign that we're moving in a different, it's time to move into a different direction, of course, right? Common sense. But what I'm hearing is that um, there has to be this common sense. Like if we're not connecting in with our senses, right? and we're not connecting in with all that we have access to, then essentially, essentially, ascent, I'm hearing a sentience, right? Um, lots of plays on words here. Our own technology is trying to get us to say, look within. I'm hearing common sense and sense ability. If we're disconnected and we're completely trying to sit within our subdivisions and we're not looking at the bigger picture, this pulls us out of our true abilities to have common sense, to be kind, to sentient kind, right? Is what I'm hearing. And so we invite you to go back within, go back within the Ashta Kuatena and reflect from that space. Send out your signals. I'm seeing that as sine wave, your signs send out from this space a cohesive memory, membrane, membrane, uh, uh, lots of membrane, like heart to brain balance. For as you do this, you supply a cohesive accordion, accordance for others to tap into, to remember from a higher point of view what really matters most. Ke anate este kut uatena. I'm seeing the Trinity, like uh, what is it, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, but that's a play on words, like the plasma field is what I'm seeing. Like it's this, we then expand out this plasma field around us and we trinitize our entire being in this cohesive symmetry that allows us to create with, and I'm going back to the beginning of this. I'm hearing go back to the beginning with the end in mind, this circle of life. I'm seeing the spiral and I'm also seeing that this is a symmetry that allows us to create from a cohesive, balanced pattern and not from a place of division, right? 
within ourselves. If we're, if we're divided within ourselves and we're not, again, establishing, I'm hearing establishing healthy boundaries, I'm, I'm also seeing establishing and reconnecting with the boundlessness of true energy and form, Mother Nature. But this is a lot of plays on words. So I'm just going to kind of end on that note. And um, yeah, get back into the heart. Get into Mother Nature. Play and create. And feel into our more expansive potential. Because what I'm seeing is, is I'm hearing crack that egg open. So let the yolk and I've, ta- I've written about this before. As a yoga teacher, we teach that yoga, of course, is to yoke together. It's oneness, the mind, body, spirit, breath, all of that. And what that is all about is connecting to, um, it's not just the heart, it's heart, brain, it's the whole body. It's connecting with what's around us and honoring that, right? Honing in on home base and creating from that those foundational core principles that then allow us i'm hearing um back to the yoke like that golden frequency that golden energy many of us have put up this shell around us um and i'm hearing valence shell valence shell valor shell like there's a lot of plays on words i'm seeing with us but many of us have put up this shell and others are playing from an empty shell. They haven't unified with themselves. They haven't recognized that there's a golden egg inside. And so they're operating from an empty, distorted version of themselves. And I'm hearing field of vision. So those that are able to crack that surface and get to the, the, the yolk, the nutri- the nutrition i'm hearing the neutrinos so a lot of things are going on that as we dispel the chemical i'm hearing dispel the chemical components that have kept us from combusting implosion like they've kept us from locating our combustion chamber so physics right and our body or coherence and all of that distraction has keyed us into a different, I'm hearing lineup, lineage, a different line age. So lots of plays on words there. And what happens is these key components I'm hearing are trying to break on through that shell, break on through to the other side is what I'm hearing, Aerosmith. (laughs) I'm just seeing all kinds of um, synchronicities I've seen over the past few days. I could go on and on with those synchronicities, but what I'm seeing is this is arrow of truth. It's our time of truth. We cannot find our truth if we cannot get cohesive and we cannot find our rhythm. Stop playing to the beat of somebody else's rhythm and drum. So if you guys um, aren't sure how to do that, this is more of an inflow message. I have other videos on how to get into the heart to how to tell if you're in the heart versus in the head, I will be updating those very soon and adding some more information. I am planning on doing some workshops with a dear friend of mine who's a heart math coach. I um, highly recommend listening to Andrew Bartz's most recent videos. Um, I think he has someone by the name of Seth that's been on there who is just talking all about coherence, right? I highly recommend you plug into uh, Dan Winter's work at fractal field if you're into the science stuff again when i'm going into flow which i some people call it channeling i just call it connecting to my highest aspect and my guides my team my higher guidance team that's what they're talking about so we have to be able to feel and if we're not plugging back into nature and we're not nurturing ourselves and one another and playing and opening that inner child we cannot be birthing new creations all we're doing is i'm hearing playing in a uh, like a we're playing in an old pool so let's 
start creating from this beautiful energy that's being offered. And we're all in this together with these challenges in our own unique individual way. We all have something that we can bring to the table, so to speak. So thank you so much for tuning in and uh, in love and light guys. Namaste.